And in this next fight, we got a flyweight fight between CJ Vergara and Tatsura Tyra. And CJ Vergara, so far in the UFC, he's not really been getting the respect. He's had two fights, both of them have been against young prospects, trying to build up beating Vergara. And now, yet again, the UFC's given him another young prospect to test here in Tatsura Tyra. And Vergara, he got in the UFC by getting an upset in brilliant fashion. He knocked out Bruno Correa on the Contender Series in 41 seconds. His first UFC fight was at UFC 268. He fought Ode Osborne, ended up losing a close decision in that one. Then he ended up uh, fighting Clayton Rodriguez in his last fight, won a split decision in that fight, and now he's getting to fight the pride of Japan, Tatsura Taira, who's 20, 22 years old and coming off a win in his UFC debut. And Tatsura Taira is one of the biggest prospects in the flyweight division today. He's currently on a 20-fight win streak, if you include his amateur career. As a pro, he's 11-0, and he was able to pass the test. He won by decision in the United States in his UFC debut. And Tyra, if he can beat CJ Vergara, will likely get a fight versus a top, top 15 opponent in his next matchup. So it's a big fight for him. And a lot of people have been very high on Tyra, so let's see if he can impress once again. But CJ Vergara, his opponent, he's going to give him some issues. He's an aggressive pressure fighter. Good head movement. He likes to slip and rip with hooks and the rear crosses. Those are the main shots you have to worry about with Vergara. He's quick. He can counter with the left hook or slide into range with the right hand. He's good at attacking the body, which is a huge part of his game. He wears fighters down with the pressure, the body punches, and then he can start to uh, beat them down the stretch. He has a nasty clinch game as well. Real nice knees from the Muay Thai clinch. His defense isn't good. He eats a lot of punches. But he's willing to walk through them to give his own and tire his opponents out. And he's durable enough to implement that game plan. And he was able to show some improved grappling in his last couple UFC fights. But TJ Vergara is not the best on the ground. I think if he finds himself on bottom with Tatsura Tyra, Vergara will be at a huge disadvantage. Vergara tends to give his back. And against Tyra, that'll be an awful decision. He was submitted by Devin Miller with the rear naked choke. And... He did all right against Clinton Rodriguez, but I think there's a big difference between Rodriguez and Tyra on the ground. And in the third round, Rodriguez was able to take the back for a large portion of the round. And I think Tyra would have been able to find a finish from there. But Vergara against both Ode Osborne and Clayton Rodriguez was able to reverse a couple takedowns, get on top, ride out the top position from full guard and win around that way. I don't think he'll be able to do that against Tyra, who's more composed and not going to chew bad takedowns or get tired in my opinion but Vergara's cardio is elite so that's something that anyone faces has to account for and Tatsura Tyra he's a very tall flyweight with Mitchell style much more effective in the stand-up he's light on his feet he likes to stay on the outside throw inside outside leg kicks and force fighters to come to him so he can counter with the rear crosses he has really fast hands and when he can catch opponents running into the punch he can really stun them he was able to drop Carlos Candelario and he does a good job tacking the body and then coming up to the head. So he mixes up the levels of his shots. And his kicking game also looks sharper than ever in his last fight. He was setting up the left high kick really well with the right cross. He was working nice round kicks, front kicks to the body. And Tyra still isn't great on the inside. That's where Vergara is going to have the advantage. Vergara is going to try to pressure him. And that's where Tyra on the inside can hold his hands low. And he can get clipped a little bit. And he's kind of low volume. So fighters can be closer than fights can be closer than they need to be at times. But Tyra in his last fight was able to control distance better than I've ever seen. He was throwing more powerful shots and he was using better setups. So being 22 years old, he's gonna get better and he's extremely confident. I imagine he'll be super tough to finish with strikes. I've seen him rocked a little bit in one of his regional scene fights, but never seen him get put in serious danger. And Asian fighters are known for being able to take an ungodly amount of damage. So Tyra, I don't think it's going to be any different. And Tyra's a very strong grappler. That's his main style. He wants to get fighters to overextend so he can get in on the double or around to the back. And he has nice trips against the cage. When he gets fighters to the ground, he's really good with his back takes. Really good control there. He'll get that body triangle and just bank uh, that round by keeping the position or find the choke. And I've seen Tyra hit submissions in transitions. He's pretty slick from different positions on top or on bottom. He's a problem on the map, period. His triangles from bottom are super dangerous. And Tyra in his last fight did face a scrappy, tough opponent in Carlos Candelario. And Candelario was able to survive on the map, but basically was dominated. Whenever Candelario got on top, he was unable to get any damage off. And Tyra showed a good ability to stay safe and eventually 
work his way back to top position. Sometimes Kyra Ky Ky could struggle to get fights to the ground. He doesn't have the best wrestling as of now, but I think his wrestling looked better. In his last fight, he showed an improved single leg, so he's already improving with his takedown game. And I think that um, even though Candelario took him down a couple times, I don't see Vergara being a threat to take him down. I don't think he'll even attempt any takedowns. And Candelario in the third round was able to get fairly deep on a guillotine, get some top control time. It was definitely Candelario's best round, but I don't think Tyra has cardio issues. He was just facing a tough opponent. His cardio and composure are very good for someone his age and experience level. One thing for Tyra I think he could really take advantage of in this fight is the fact that CJ Vergara stands so heavy on his lead leg. Tyra could chop up his leg with kicks, and he can also get the single leg. And I think Tyra's going to look great in this one. I think he's going to find the submission victory in the first round and maybe the second. I think Tyra's going to either clip Vergara with a big right cross and drop him, or find the single, get to the back, find that rear naked choke. And I think this fight is set up for Tyra to win, look good. And Vergara's tough. He could get on the inside defensive takedowns and maybe get something going. But if Vergara wins, I think he'll get a knockout too. So I see this fight ending inside the distance either way. But I think Tyra's going to get that first round submission. He's a minus 240 favorite, so a little bit rich, but I think it's warranted. I would actually line him like a minus 300, so see a little bit of value there. I think Tyra should get the job done here and has a good stylistic matchup in front of him. So for me, Tyra by first round submission is the pick.